Dwayne Notkin from SavvyAnti.com and uh, hanging out in New York City. Gotta, just had lunch with her. Gotta ask her a couple questions about entrepreneurship. What's going on, Melanie? Hey, Lewis. We got her up on a hill. She's, yeah, she's actually, she's really short, but we got her up on a hill. But, uh, <laughs> so uh, first tell me a little bit about what is uh, Savvy Ante and what, what inspired you to start it. So SavvyAunty.com is the first online community for the nearly 50% of American women who are aunts, godmothers, the cool aunts, the great aunts, all the women who may not have their own kids but love the children in their lives, their nieces, nephews, and grandchildren. And of course, you know, the platform extends to Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. So it's really a multi-platform brand for a segment that I've dubbed Pank, Professional Ants, No Kids. Very cool. So tell me a little about, I used to work in corporate America, but now you're a full-time entrepreneur. What are some of the challenges you face being an entrepreneur? Gosh, you know, every day is a challenge being an entrepreneur because you're completely on your own and it's really entirely up to you to make your vision move forward. So, you know, part of the challenge is to make sure that you're always more focused and always on course and always self-motivated. But the reason why it isn't necessarily a challenge for me is because every day I just promise myself that I will believe in myself that day and then I rely on people like Lewis here and other people <laughs> in my life who end up supporting me and believing in me and empowering me. So cool. um, even though it's a challenge, I think in the end it really becomes a gift because you end up realizing your own potential through support of your community and your fans and your followers and your friends, right. etc. Okay, so if someone's trying to be an entrepreneur, what's one piece of advice you'd give them? What's, what's the biggest mistake that they might make or what can they, uh, you know, what can they pass out on and just go forward with it? What can they do? Sure. So the first thing an entrepreneur needs to learn to do, which not all entrepreneurs are good at doing, and that is ask for help. Mm. You know, often enough we think, hey, we're entrepreneur, we're here, we're supposed to do it ourselves, we're supposed to be focused and self-motivated, all good, but there's no possible way that an entrepreneur can know everything from like right. how to trademark a name to how to publicize it to how to use social media, how to sell. Right. So ask for help. What I've learned is, is that 95% of the time, the person who is an entrepreneur, who has been an entrepreneur for a long time, is ready to help, and the other 5%, well, you know, karma's a bitch. Exactly. So where can people find you online? Well, first of all, you can find me at SavvyAnti.com, um, but then again, if you really want to reach me immediately, follow me at Twitter.com slash SavvyAnti, become a fa Facebook fan, Facebook.com slash SavvyAnti, and if you want to see more video, go to YouTube.com slash SavvyAnti. Very cool. Thanks. Thank you.